here. It's been a while. Um, I typically try and do a video like once a month and so I think it's been a month since I did my last video but it seems like longer and that's probably because I've been on vacation. I took a couple of weeks off from work um, right before the kids got out of school so I was home for the last week of my son's um, exams from school. I, I can't even think. And yeah, I've just been relaxing and enjoying the start of summer because it is beautiful here the last couple of days. I've managed to get outside and um, do a little bit of yard work and it's t-shirt and shorts weather. It's really nice here again today. Um, it is actually the 30th of June and I'm not sure what the temperature, it's 18 degrees here at the moment. So I know that's cold for some of you, but it's t-shirt and shorts weather for us. <laughs> so yeah, it's beautiful out. So um, what to talk about? A lot has happened uh, in the last month. Son's finished school. Um, kids are off. They are, they are out at the moment. My daughter is gone out with the boyfriend and my husband and my son are actually gone on a trip to Ottawa for uh, with Scouts Canada because they're very heavily involved in Scouts and Marshall is currently in doing the Venturers program of Scouts and they're gone for an exchange and they're actually participating in the Canada Day festivities on Parliament Hill in Ottawa this year uh, for Canada's 150th birthday. So that's where they are. So I'm home by myself, so I thought it was a good opportunity to do a floss tube video. Lots of stitching. I've managed to get quite a bit of stitching done uh, in, in June. Um, oddly enough, because we've also been really busy, but I guess with being off from work, it's given me a bit of extra time to work on my pieces. Um, what else happened since I spoke with you last? My birthday. I had a birthday on the 20th of June. That was fun. Didn't do anything majorly exciting, but uh, had a good birthday just the same. Out to dinner, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. So, let's get started with the stitching. Um... I will start with, what will I start with? Let's start with my Christmas Carol piece. I'll insert a picture of where you saw it the last time. And this one, if I check my little journal here, I did have someone ask me about my cross stitch journal. They wanted to see Maybe I'll do a video on this on its own, but this is how I track my months for my stitching. You have to excuse my nails. I have no nail polish on. It's all coming off. Um, I just basically do a chart like this every month, and I list the pieces I'm working on down the side and tick off every day that I've worked on what. So for Christmas Carol, I actually worked on this one from the 4th to the 11th of June that week. And this, hang on, I get my park threads out of the way. This is where it is now. Maybe I should do this. There we go. There we go. So that's where it is now. Um, I'm working on this page here. And as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit of that page done. Won't take me long, I don't think, to finish out that page. You can see on my little park threads here. Uh, this I'm stitching one over one on 25 count, full crosses. I think the coverage is great and the detail in this piece is also great. I, I just love this piece. Every time I work on it, it gets better and better. So that's a Christmas Carol. 
The next piece I worked on would have been Record Girls. So Record Girls, I've worked on this so far just one, uh, one week in June. I'll insert a picture of where it was the last time you saw it. So yeah, so I've only worked on this for one week this month. Usually I work on it every second week, but with vacation and everything, I've only gotten a week done on her. And here it is now. And they are so close to another page finish. I'm currently working on this dress and I don't have much left to do on that page and that will be done. Then I can move over to this page, which I think is the rest of her dress, um, the front of her, and I'm not sure if the record player starts at the top here, but that's where they are now. Uh, they're getting so close. I should still be on track to get that one finished maybe by the end of the year. Uh, now that my vacation time is over for this round, I will be going back to working on that every second week. So there should be some extra progress on that one. My next one is going to be my Old World Map by Heaven and Earth Designs. Oh, sorry, in Record Girls, I'm stitching that one 2 over 1 on 18 Count Ada. It's a chart I did myself on Pick to Pet, if anyone's wondering. And actually, Michelle Rudy, Farm Girl. Um, Michelle had found a picture, I think, at a thrift shop or, I don't know, a flea market or somewhere along the way. And she posted a picture of it, I, I think, in Stitch Mania or on Instagram. I'm not sure now. Saying that she thought it was the same, she thought it was the same um, artist or the same piece, I guess, as my Record Girls piece. And then there were other people saying that they had Googled Record, record Girls and they couldn't find anything on it. Yeah, you won't. That's just what I call it because I didn't know what else to call it. <laughs> it's a department store piece that was basically mass produced for department stores back in the late 60s, early 70s for um, home decor. So you could walk into a Kmart or, I don't know, whatever sort of department store and they would have a stack of, you know, pictures that you could purchase for home decor and that was one of the photos. Now, they were just mass produced, they were on um, card, they were like a print put on cardboard in a cheap frame and there were a couple different lines of them. One line was done, they were all signed with the name Eve, and that's where my Wrecker Girls came from, that was the designer of that one. And there's another parallel line, I guess, that was produced as well, and it had the signature of Lee, L-E-E, -E, on them. The one Michelle Rudy has is a Lee print, and the one I have is an Eve print. But there were no specific names uh, put to the paintings that I'm aware of. If you Google... Um, big eyed, um, big eyed art or something like that. You'll of course get a whole bunch of um, different hits because there is a very famous painter who used to paint these um, pictures with the big eyes. And actually, there was a movie put out about her not long ago. And right now, her name escapes me. But you'll get those pictures of her artwork. But you'll also might come across some retro pictures of my piece as well as the picture that Michelle Rudy got. There's a bunch of other ones. I know in the Eve collection there's uh, one of the two girls with the record player, thus record girls, that's what I call them. There's a picture of a boy and a girl that are dancing together. There's one of two boys, I think with a guitar, or they have a guitar each. And then there's a fourth one, but anywho. So, my map, getting back to that, because rabbit trails, as Terry would say. I'll insert a picture of where it was the last time. This is it now. Oh 
I'll move my threads here. Gosh. So this is where I am at the moment. I'm currently working my way across the top again, working on this page. And I've gotten quite a bit done. I will, I'm supposed to switch this piece, according to my rotation, back to Record Girls, um, I think the day after tomorrow. But I don't think I'm going to because really the this week that I've had this out, I haven't really given it that much attention. Um, because I've, I'm working on another piece simultaneously. But I decided that I will probably work on this this week and then switch to Record Girls. So that's where I am. This odd looking shape here, that's actually a, um, a buffalo. Which of course is very obvious from this picture that you're looking at, right? <laughs> right. Okay, so that is that. Now, I only have one other whip to show you. That one is my Canada sampler that I started working on. I've been calling it my secret stitching. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, anytime I put a tag in and I call it secret stitching, that's what I'm doing. I purchased the sampler from Stitch Rovia online. And I don't have a picture. Oh, yes, I do. I have a picture that I can put in of it. I'll insert it here. If you watched my last video, you would know that my plan was to stitch one for us and stitch one for my son's best friend and his dad because they've all been very involved in scouts together for the last um, several years. My son's gone right through the, the scouting program right from he was a little kid to now. He'll be 16 in October. And so has his best friend. My husband is a scout leader, as is uh, Marshall's best friend's dad. He's also a scout leader. They are all four of them, along with several other scouts, um, gone to Ottawa at the moment to participate in Canada's 150th birthday celebrations on Canada Day, which is actually tomorrow, July 1st. So... This is what I decided I was going to do. I was going to stitch one for my husband and Marshall as a gift and then have a couple of pictures of them um, on Canada Day with their scout gear on and that, and I would have them, I guess, framed and I could hang them side by side or together. I also decided to do one for Paul and Ryan. And I said, well, I'll stitch ours first and then I'll stitch theirs afterward. Then I thought about it and I said, you know what, if I stitch one of these, I'm going to be so sick of looking at it probably by the time I get one stitched, I'm not going to do a second one. So I nipped that right in the bud and decided that I would stitch both of them simultaneously. So this is the one for Ryan and his dad. And this is what I've gotten done on this one so far. So I've got Canada, this is the stock of wheat and a field of wheat, I think, which is representative of the prairies, fleur-de-lis, which is representative of Quebec, and also the scouting movement, I would think, because scouts here in Canada, there's a fleur-de-lis, I think, in their logo. I have a cow which is supposed to have grass underneath him, but I don't have the grass stitched in yet. And I have part of the Parliament building in Ottawa, which is the capital of the country. I have part of the building done. And I've just started, this will be the CN Tower, this thing over here on the, on the right. Um, well, your left? Anyway, on that side. So that's where I've gotten with that one. This, and it's still on the hoop, so you'll have to... This is where I am with the second one, the one for us. So again, I have the words all done. I have the wheat and the field, the fleur-de-lis, the cow with the grass. <laughs> and I'm now working on the Parliament building. And I'm going to continue working on this today. This is not part of my rotation. 
This is only something I'm working on while I'm at work on my lunch breaks and my night shifts if it's slow. But the thing is, I decided that while they were away, um, it was a good opportunity for me to work on it here at home. So I've taken a couple of days now to start stitching on this and get it caught up. So my plan is to do a couple motifs on this one and then do a couple motifs on that one. So, you know, I'll stitch it on this one, then stitch it on that one and, and kind of keep them going at the same pace. So I can finish them about the same time together and I can give them to them, I don't know, Christmas or in the new year when I get them done. No rush because they don't know I'm doing it. So that's where I am with that. So that's all my stitching. That's everything I've worked on so far in June. And today is the last day of June, so there won't be much more to do. I'm going to work on my sampler today and tomorrow. I go back to work on Sunday, and I'll be back to my regular rotation with my pieces and taking these back and forth to work. That's that. Now, I did have a little list of things to chat about. I don't even know what I did with the list, to be honest with you, because, again, vacation. I'm in relax mode, and I've written nothing down. I believe in my last video, I did mention that I had won a giveaway from Ingeborg in um, the Netherlands. Hi, Ingeborg. It arrived, so I can now show you the goodies that she sent me. And it came in this envelope. I don't even know if I can, I know, maybe if I do this. <laughs> All decorated with the stickers <laughs> in, my, in my mailbox one day. And so I had one, um, a Mirabilia chart, believe it or not. She sent it, and this is it. It's, um, I don't know if it's a, Nor it's not a Mirabilia. It's a Nora Corbett, I guess. Oh, maybe it's a Mirabilia. It says, designed by Nora Corbett, Mirabilia Designs. It is the Silver Dragonfly. I think that's really lovely. So thank you so much. I even have a piece of fabric that I think this would look really fantastic on. I don't think I'm going to stitch it on this neutral color. I think it might look good on a piece of light. Um, I don't know. I'll have to do a floss toss on it. But I have a piece of hand dyed fabric in my stash that I think that might look good on. So that's the dragonfly. She was kind enough to throw a bunch of other things in this package. I'm just going to show you the goodies she sent me because I was really excited. Okay. She sent the Krennic. Um, I think that's one, two, three. There's four Krennics in this, but she sent three of them because she had them left over. And there was a fair bit there, so she sent them along with the Mirabilia, which was great. Because I can't get Krennic here. I have to order it online. We don't have an LNS. That was that. She sent a lovely little card, which I won't read, but of course it has tulips. You can't have a card from the Netherlands without tulips, right? And then she sent me... This is so cute. A lovely piece of fabric. Um, I have it upside down. <laughs> and it has this beautiful print on it. Like, it's just lovely. Um... I think it's actually a kerchief or something of that nature, or a, I don't know. Because it's all sewn around. It's not a raw piece of fabric. But it is just beautiful. I love this. And I don't know if you can see this little design here. The little boy and girl. She also sent me a cross-stitch pattern. 
of that, very similar to that, that image. Um, but I can't show it to you because it's just, it's just a chart. It's not a photograph. Like there's not a photograph of the finished piece. But it's um, a little chart of that. And she put in, she included a piece of opalescent fabric to stitch it on. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it, but it is opalescent. Very pretty. And she also put in this little needle minder. How cute is that? Um, and it has the magnet on the back. There's a little heart button attached as well on the back. So cute. So thank you so much. It was lovely, um, very thoughtful little goodies put in there for me, and um, extra things that I was not anticipating receiving, so it made the package that much more special. So cute. So thank you very much for that. Um, can't wait to start that dragonfly, but at the rate I'm going with my full coverages, that might be a little while, but it is definitely going in my... Um, to do pile because like I said I think I have a piece of fabric downstairs already that is going to um, I think that that would look really really nice on so I'm going to put that with the fabric and put it with the Krennic and pull the threads for it so it's kitted up and then I can start it whenever I like right right um, so I think that was everything like this is a quick video. I've only been yakking for like 22 minutes. I don't think there's anything else for me to share. That's it. I haven't done any more stitching. Sorry about that. Uh, camera just shut off randomly. I'm doing this on my iPad so I don't know if it's a storage issue or what it is. But So without further ado, in case this runs out of space again, I'm actually going to do my giveaway. In the last video, I had uh, showed a couple of project bags I had made. There was this one with the little accessory bag. Um, it has green lining in it. Okay. And then there was this Snoopy one. And I haven't put hexes on these yet. I'm still debating whether or not to actually do that because. I don't have them on any of my project bags and it doesn't bother me because the flaps tend to stay closed. Anywho, so I put up a giveaway. I didn't say there was a giveaway in my last thing, but at the very end of my video, if you made it all the way through, I said comment on the video with something having to do with coffee and your name will be entered into the draw. And I will randomly decide who's going to get, I guess, which bag. It's just going to you know, I'm just going to toss them in the mail to whoever. So, I had 213 entries. So, I'm just going to go to random.org here on my phone. You can see that. I'm going to put in a number between 1 and 213. And I'm going to go generate. And the result is... 200 if you can see that and number 200 on this list is 200 here we go smiley guy designs smiley guy designs so you need to get in touch with me um, you can send me a private message um, through Instagram probably. That might be the easiest, most confidential way to get a hold of me. On Instagram, it's at Pam's Crafty Corner. You can just send me a private message there so that I can get your address and get your project bag in the mail to you. Okay. And let's do another one. So between one and 213. And this one is number 33. You can see that there. And number 33 is Cheryl, and I'm really going to mess up this last name, 
Cheryl Kinzel. Cheryl Kinzel. So, congratulations to the winners. If you want to pop me a Facebook, not Facebook, an Instagram private message, um, or you can message me on Facebook too if you can find me on Facebook, but Facebook is really like just my personal stuff. I don't have anything stitching related on my actual Facebook page, so I don't tend to use it much for stitching. So if you want to Instagram me or a private message through Instagram might be the easiest way of getting in touch with me, and then I can get your project bags in the mail to you. Anyway, guys, it's been a blast. Thanks for sticking with me and for watching my video. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, it's just fantastic, this community that we have, and the fact that um, you guys watch my videos and like to watch my progress on my pieces. I, too, am happy to make the videos. It takes a bit of time, but I like showing off my work, and I love seeing everybody else's work. As a matter of fact, that's becoming a problem because you guys are all making hour-long videos, which is great, don't get me wrong, but... I've subscribed to so many of you that I can't watch an hour-long video from everybody. I'll never get through them. I've, after resetting my watch later list a couple of times now, and I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> That's all I can say. Anyway, have a great stitchy week, and I'll talk to you again soon, I'm sure. Happy stitching. Bye.